Hi, my name is Kevin Buckley and I'm a veteran retoucher. I've been in the game over 10 years. And in this retouching tutorial series, how Photoshop jobs really work, we have world-renowned photographer Caleb Cool joining us. Now, if you're new to this series, we've had a bunch of episodes so far. We've gone over why you would hire a professional retoucher, how you do some image selection, and also the retouching of many of the images in this series already. In fact, this is actually gonna be the last image in the series. So in this episode, we're gonna be doing the straight on view, the automotive shots, where we're gonna do a virtual rig on the background. So we're gonna do a vector blur to show you how you can make these cars look like they're in action, how they're actually moving. Stick with us. Again, if you can see how this is done, you'll be able to do it yourself. All right, let's go. All right, cool. So moving on with the last one. Last one in the series and we'll last one. Last one. Um, Our key shot. Yeah. Take off my guide. Okay. So we have a straight on. And we did mention in the video, we, we wanted to put some motion into this one. Um, so we did bring this into virtual rig. And then virtual rig, if you don't know, can add vector blurs so you can you can create a direction and multiple directions and it will blur along that path okay so this is this is the original shot mm. oh and i forgot actually we did i did kind of an image extension on this to give us a little more cropping room and to keep the background pretty sharp and this stuff sharp because i did really like it but but also to have some blur at the same time so you'll notice you know it's much more blurry down here and it gets softer or it gets less blurry as it goes back. And uh, and then I added some motion blur, of course, to the tires, because those are gonna be turning. Um, so that was a before and after. That's great, the build-out's amazing. It really helps that in, in general, just composition way. Yeah, and and it's there's there's no real loss because like the car was smaller and, and so I am enlarging that one, but because it's mm -hmm. moving, you don't really want a super sharp background anyway. You want, you, you generally, if you did that, you would probably add like a, you know, a Gaussian blur or a lens blur to the background of, you know, one or two pixels just to soften it up a little bit because there's, you know, you're moving. It's not realistic to have a tack sharp. So, so yeah, there's no loss in doing it. So yeah, why not? Awesome. Okay. So the car, a couple of things I did on the other ones that I didn't mention that I'll mention here because they're a little, a little more obvious. Um, this stuff up here, it, it, it you know, you can see the rear view mirrors in the light and there's a camera mount there, maybe another sensor there. And they're a little distracting. You know, they don't, I don't think they really add to the value of the car. So a lot of times I'll almost remove them or, or kind of remove them. Legally, I think they want to see them in there. So you could see if you zoom in, they're still there. Just a hint of it. Yeah. 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 But just a little bit. Should be able to check that box off the security list or whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because if you completely take them out, they're like, hey, there's a camera on this one. Um, so so that was one of the things I did with the car. Um, you can see that there was a lot of these pings happening in the headlight. Uh, just far too many. You can keep some, but you know, if they start getting just like they're everywhere, you got to take them out. So I think I flopped a part of the headlight over to here to take some of those out. Left these little ones, I thought those were nice. I like the metallic look that's happening on the paint. Um, so that that's all kind of kept in. And uh, much better. Yeah. Okay, so we'll come back out. A little, little bit of light direction, not, not too much. You know, we kind of changed it. It was brighter over here, darker over here, and I kind of reversed that to show that the sun is coming from the side. You can see which shadow is coming from, from the shadow. <laughs> and there's, here's the huge move again. And this is, this might be over the top for this particular image, but when you put it in a series of images, you kind of need them to match up. And so that's where we get um, this really dark area. One thing I, d I will mention that I actually didn't go in, I think we just kind of glossed over it, was that the sky has also been added too. So we did do a, we did do a sky add on this one. See if I can get it off. Well, there it is. Okay, so there it's out the sky. Yeah, yeah, that always helps, man. Just the, it always brings a little bit more drama to it, you know. Yeah, I, I I do like it. I like the depth it brings as well. Um, and the last thing I added over the top with just a just a hint of dust. You know, it's kind of a dusty road. It's going down, and what that does is because the car is dark, 
and dust is light. It just adds a little bit more contrast to cut out the car. That's great, man. So that was the last uh, last thing. And that was the last image. I love it, man. Yeah, super fun project to work on. So glad we teamed up to do this one. Um, I really love the way the images came out. I like that we were able to do both color palettes and kind of play with that. And I hope this helps. If you know somebody's out there watching, I hope uh, you can take away from this and you know see kind of some of the art direction moves and some of the retouching moves I did. Um, later on, maybe I'll do some videos where, you know, I go over more specific steps to retouch. I kind of just kind of showed you more than, more than told you actually how to do it as a tutorial. Um, but I hope it gives you a guide on, uh, on where you can go and, and what you can do with your images. It's great. Amazing. Uh, thank you so much, Kevin. Uh, this has been just, you know, it's been a pleasure working with you on this project and I hope that we can, uh, you know, really shed some light on, onto the, on shed some light on the uh the whole industry of, of why you might want to consider hiring a retoucher as a, as a professional photographer and kind of what you can bring to the table so um again we just really appreciate it and um hey man i'm looking forward to working on the next project okay if you enjoyed the video thus far i'd really appreciate it if you hit that like subscribe and notification bell so you'll know when i have future videos and series coming out in this particular episode we went over the last image in the retouching series so it was the straight on we showed you how you can use virtual rig to make it look like a moving shot, adding a little dust, doing image extensions, all those cool things. Now, I don't want to belabor this too long because I know I had a farewell in the video series with Caleb as well already. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this series if you did. And please find me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Behance, LinkedIn. You can find more information, tutorials, before and afters, all that kind of stuff on the image work I do. All right, folks, keep making images.